Joe's Computer Museum. Hey Joe, this is Javier. I think I have a busted floppy drive. Do you think you can help me? Sure, anything for the RetroBright Master. Great, I'll send it right away. I'll be waiting. Hi, a few days ago I had some issues with this drive and I sent it to my good friend Joe from Joe's Computer Museum so he did his magic and he fixed it. Joe actually did a great video on the process on how to fix this drive so I invite you to please go and check it out it's really interesting I learned a lot from it so I'm gonna put the link down on show notes and uh, please go and visit his site he's a great guy he did a great job on that it's very important that you see how he fixed it because it will teach you a lot about it. In the meantime, I didn't lose my time. I actually worked on this. Uh, I had a couple of them, so I took the original case that was a lot, uh, a lot worse than this one, very, very damaged. I applied some good elbow grease, some good paint remover, and I end up with something like this. So now, my idea is to really just put, keep it like this and put it in this case and it will be a beautiful shiny case. So I'm going to show you how it's done. First I'm going to start by gluing the rubber feet. I like to use this A6000 industrial glue because it has like a rubberish consistency and it's very easy to remove if needed. I'm also going to do the same to the felt filters. Got to be careful because they're very delicate. On the front panel, I used the damage to provide apple rainbow. I removed the paint and ended up with a metallic matching logo. Very nice, huh? Friend Joe helped me fixing this drive and he figured that there was a problem with a sensor that senses the notches on the floppy so it doesn't work. He had to just put a loop over there so it could read and write all the time. So that gave me the idea of adding this switch that enables or disables the disk uh, sensing capability so I could, you know, uh, be able to write in both sides of the floppies without making a notch and also I can put the switch in the other position and it will not allow any writing in any floppy. I have done this modification in several drives already and you can see the schematic on the background uh, it's pretty simple what it does is in one position the LED will be red all the time and it will not allow to write into the disk in the other position the LED will be green and it always will allow you to write on the disk. This way you control that and also you will be able to write in the other side of a floppy without needing to make a notch. 
it's nice and you know it fixes the issue with this drive. I had to position the switch all the way to the back because it's very tight everything inside this drive. If not, I wouldn't be able to close the enclosure in the right way. As you can see, the switch over here goes directly to the LED and also the connector for the power of the LED and as you can see I'm writing right now and it's showing the green LED and it's writing right now so yes it's working now I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue hot glue so that it can be taken out if needed in the future it won't damage anything and it will keep the cables you know in place so it doesn't move around and it doesn't cause any issues or shorts Finally, let's close everything and make sure that everything fits perfectly. Looks like it's gonna be no problems at all. Let's get ready to test it. I'm gonna boot from the external drive and right now it's in the no right position so it should be red. There we go. Yep, it's reading, it's red. Oh, I forgot to close it. Now let's try the writing mode. Let's see if it works. Yeah, green. Here we go, we have a winner. Thank you very much for watching, please comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and thank you Joe again. See you next time. How you doing? This is what I'm going to be showing. Goodbye.